me personally um this practice today was very highly anticipated because i was wondering all right is lamar gonna return i mean i thought he was gonna return last week so this week he certainly gotta be back right and we had heard the reports from ian rapaport saying all right lamar jackson the ravens they're gonna test out his knee this week because he's been on the treadmill and everything's been fine but they're gonna test out his knee this week and see if he's good to go to make those football cuts and moves and whatnot and i'm like all right let's get it let's go baby so then uh, today rolled around and it was 1.03 p.m. And I tweeted out, man, what time does practice start? Because I was wondering if it started at 1, if it started at 1.30, if it started at 2, because I just didn't know. And one of my guys, Meech, he replied to me, said it starts in seven minutes. So he was saying it starts at 1.10 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm like, all right, cool. Sounds good. Because I didn't know. Um, but then... A couple of minutes after I had tweeted what time practice starts, I saw that Lamar Jackson, he tweeted. Uh, he tweeted out that he was laughing at some meme that some prank some dad tried to do on his kids and whatnot. Um, and I was like, oh, OK, well, I guess Lamar Jackson is not at Ravens practice. Then it came out, all the reporters, they went and confirmed that Lamar Jackson was not at the media's viewing of practice today. Lamar Jackson was out. I was like, all right. So I guess this Sunday night, it'll be Tyler Huntley versus Kenny Pickett uh, for Ravens versus Steelers on Sunday Night Football. But Lamar Jackson being out of practice, that wasn't even the most concerning news uh, that we got today. Um, and you know what's crazy? The, the news that we're getting ready to talk about, it, is, it wasn't even just news from today, but it got brought to a lot of people's attentions, including myself, today. Um, somebody in the comment section over the past couple of days, it might have been yesterday, somebody in the comment section talked about, hey, you heard that Lamar Jackson, that he, he hasn't been um, going to the treatments from the Ravens? He hasn't been reporting for his treatments? And I was like, no, I said, I think I heard something like that, but I haven't heard anything official about it, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then somebody on December 22nd, today is the Today's the 28th. So somebody back on December 22nd, they had tweeted about it too. They were like, oh, you heard Lamar Jackson. He ain't going to his treatments from the Ravens. He ain't been showing up to his treatments. And I didn't even catch that. But then today, I know my guy uh, Spencer, he's, he tweeted it out. And then I went to go check out uh, the 105.7, the Big Bad Morning Show, to listen to the clip where they talked about it uh, in detail how... One of them felt like uh, he, don't, he doesn't think Lamar Jackson is going to play again this year at all. At all. Um, and he said his reasoning was because of th that it's something going on behind the scenes uh, between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. He said he doesn't feel like Lamar Jackson is going to play at all this year, uh, even for playoffs. Even for play, like play at all this year, period. Um, because if he has scheduled treatments for his injury... Then you would think, all right, well, he's going to go to his treatment so he could come back and whatnot. But allegedly, because again, I don't know if it's true or not, but allegedly they're saying that Lamar Jackson hasn't been showing up uh, to the treatments for his knee. So this would take us back. If this is true, if it's true, we don't know. Because I know that th this week, like, I know people's opinions can be swayed very easily. And, and that's cool. It's, it's cool. Because we talked about how we feel like, hey, this, it's not looking good for the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. I, I, I just think it's going to be a mutual parting of ways. Uh, I don't think they'll let him walk as a free agent. But I've been saying for a while, I just I don't see it happening uh, with Ravens and Lamar Jackson this offseason. I don't see him resigning. And, and we've we've also talked about uh, what we hope that we hope that they do resign. And we've talked about both sides of the fence here. But I just I don't see it happening for a lot of different reasons. And recently, I, I think a lot of people when they saw the whole the, the clip from the Wired. Or from wide, I think that's actually going to be coming out tonight. The clip where Ravens showed John Harbaugh and Lamar Jackson hugging it out. Everybody was like, look, look, see, everything's fine, guys. They're hugging. They love each other. Tell me this. Have you ever worked at a and personal experience, too? Have you ever worked at a job where you absolutely you love the people that you work with? You love them. Love them. You may even love your manager, too. But it's the people that would determine if you get a raise or not. You may have love for them, but that's where things could get ugly. 
You can have all the love in the world for your coworkers. Hey, I'm down with my coworkers. We cool. We hang out. We joke. We laugh. We party. We eat together. Whatever. We have a good time. But the, the issue doesn't have to be with them. When it comes to your money, when it comes to you trying to get a raise, the issue is with the higher ups. So if this is true, then yeah, this is big. That whole hug, that he don't have to have a problem with Hubble to have a problem with the money. Now, um, I don't anticipate uh, Lamar Jackson um, doing negotiations during the season. He said he wasn't going to do negotiations during the season. But this might not even be a whole negotiation thing. This could be, maybe he, maybe he could feel like, you know what? They don't value me like that. Maybe they told him. So I don't know. Like, even... Today, listening to the pre it, it, things are just weird, and you know what? It, it, things have been weird for a while. People have talked about it. People have brought out how Lamar just he don't look as happy as he normally does and whatnot. Um, the it, but things have been it's, the Ravens and Lamar Jackson have been in such a weird place for a while. So obviously because of this whole contract thing. Um, but if I take you back, the day of. The Bucks and Ravens game. Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless put out a report that a lot of people didn't like. And they were like, Skip Bayless, that guy, he doesn't have any credentials. He, he don't know anybody. You think he knows somebody in the Ravens locker room? Oh, please. But Skip Bayless put out a report saying that allegedly, I don't know if it's true or not, but he put out a report that Lamar Jackson just wasn't happy. Now, some people thought because of the timing, which I could see, they thought, oh, because of the timing, he's putting this out right before Lamar Jackson goes up against Skip Bayless, beloved Tom Brady. Oh, he's just trying to distract the Ravens. He's just trying to distract Lamar Jackson. And I could see why people would say that. I, I, I could see that. But Skip Bayless put out that report, and he said that Lamar Jackson was unhappy. He said that Lamar Jackson had been showing up late for meetings and stuff. He said Lamar Jackson just wasn't into it like he had been before um and he said that lamar jackson seemed as if lamar jackson has sort of checked out and that's a phrase that's very powerful if it's true i always think about uh times in, in, in my work life when i went through the same thing obviously not on no 230 mil 240 50 mil scale like lamar could be but I think about personal experience from when I worked very hard at a job. Felt like I did a pretty good job too. Helped other people around me uh, and just really did my thing at that job, really gave my all to that job. And then when it was time to get paid, when it was time to get compensated, I did my part, I did everything on my end. But management, the higher ups and whatnot, they're like, mm, well, well, we don't know. Well, uh, well, we're not sure. Ah, uh, well, mm. it's like, man, I really just did all of this, and I've I've proven myself. I've continued to prove myself. I have so many people, so many em other employees and stuff that trust me. They got a lot of trust for me, and they respect my work too. What's the holdup? And when there seemed to be no progress, I checked out. I checked out. I would still show up. I, I would still be there, but I wasn't all the way there. Cause it was just like, man, like, what's the point of me giving my all if they not even like, they're not even checking for me. They're not even like trying with me on their end. And some people could be like, well, you, you, you still should give your all because you could try to go to another department. Another department, they may be watching. They may be seeing your, your numbers and whatnot and seeing your stats and stuff and looking to see if they could bring you on if you try to leave this current department that you're in, that you're checked out from. So with Lamar Jackson, if he is checked out, that could be the reason why. Or maybe something, maybe something may have changed. Maybe he could have had a conversation with the Ravens. I don't know. Because I, I just, the Ravens are winning. The Ravens are in the playoffs, but again, all this talk came way before, way before. I, I told people to, to watch. 
I told people to watch and pay attention to the media. This report about him missing the um his uh the treatments. Y'all know. I I know all of y'all know. Y'all know that stuff like this it doesn't get out unless somebody wants it to get out. Especially with the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens are such a tight-lipped organization, man. Y'all know that. Lamar Jackson is super, super private. Y'all know that. Y'all know his camp, his circle. Half of people don't even know who's in his camp or in his circle because it's kept so private. Ravens are private. Lamar Jackson, his people, they're private. Who let it out the bag? Who put this out there? I've been telling people to watch the media because listen to the, the reports read those articles look how they're worded they've been setting this thing up trying to show you that a hey, lamar jackson is on his way out this has been going on all off season and then all throughout the season they've been trying to paint the picture and what it seemed like to me what it seems like from all these different articles that I see, the, the, the wording of different reports and whatnot, it really seems like they're trying to sway the public's opinion on one Lamar Jackson. So when, if, seems, it seems like when, but if, and when, but if the Ravens do trade him, then it can make them look better like, hey, we should have done this. This this is a good thing that we're trading him. It's best for both parties that we both move on and go in a different direction. That's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. Pay attention, man. Again, the articles from back last, this past off season. Oh, man, some stuff going on that can make your head spin. Oh, man, the Ravens, they don't like uh, Lamar Jackson and some, some stuff that he's doing, like, off the field. They don't like his work ethic. Then, oh, Lamar Jackson, oh, you, 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 he, you, I heard you don't work out. Heard you don't like working out. Oh, where'd you hear that from? Sources. Sources. And I, I, remember, I remember laughing at that interview. I remember laughing at it. Like, oh. Look, this guy not even trying to t say who, who told him. He said sources, but he ain't say who said it. Wonder who those sources were. I wonder. Then the whole thing with, with Skip Bayless dropping that and the timing of it too. So, oof. Oof. Then, then you see the, the way some articles are written and stuff and about Lamar Jackson and some stuff that he said trying to make it something that he didn't say. And then people... Uh, Paint, oh, bringing up Joe Flacco and his injury history versus Lamar Jackson, his injury history. It's like they're trying to plant these seeds. They're trying to plant these seeds to people and sway the public opinion. That's what it seems like. That's really what it seems like. And now this one. Again, stuff like this ain't going to get out for no reason. Then you even heard Harbaugh today in the press. That, that's the only part of the press I wanted to hear. And that ain't no shot at Roquan Smith or J.K. Dobbins or even Tyler Linderbaum because uh, we love the three of them. But I just wanted to hear what Harbaugh said about Lamar Jackson. And he said, uh, we because somebody asked him about the, the PCL sprain. I think it was Cordell. Um, but I think Cordell asked him about the, the PCL sprain. Is, is it a sprain or is it a strain? Like, what is it? He said, I, I, I really I, I can't comment on that. It's not my place to comment on that or something like that. Even though he's a head coach, of course it's his place to comment on it. But we know how Harbaugh is with injuries. So that wasn't a surprise. But then the way he said, well, we're going to talk about the people that are here. We're going to comment on the players that are here, that are present. And the way he said it, I said, oh, <laughs> okay now, Harbaugh. I see you, big dog. But again, I just, whatever happens... I just want y'all to pay attention to the seeds that are planted. I know a lot of people, um, some people thought that people that caught this were reaching, that they were looking too deep into it because the Ravens put out a picture, I think, after the Falcons game where Gus driving a bus. I think Justin Tucker was in there. Roquan Smith was in there. Um, J.K. Dobbins was in there too. But there was no Lamar. There was no Lamar. And people saw that and were like, hmm. Hmm. Then, but then some people did make a really good point. They were like, oh, no, no, that picture was just of people that played in the game against the Falcons on Saturday. And I was thinking, oh, yeah. But at the same time, hmm, 
that picture was fired up and ready. Unless they just got an editor that's just quick with it, that's super fast and ready to go. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. But again, pay attention to what people are trying to tell you. And some of y'all might even still, at this point right now, some people may say, oh, engraving, you're reaching right now. What are you talking about? Okay, cool. If you feel that way, it's fine. I respect it. I respect it. Y'all know, I, I respect how you feel. I may not agree, and you may not agree with me. But as long as there's respect, it's all good. But it just really seems that way. It seems like this relationship is coming to an end. It seems like this relationship is coming to a close. Especially if this is true. If this is true. Because why, why would he skip the, uh, the treatments? Why wouldn't he show up for treatments? Wouldn't you, you, you want to get better so you can get back out there on the field? If, if, if you were planning on getting out there and playing for this team again, wouldn't you show up for treatments? I would think so. I would definitely think so. Right? But if you had no intentions on playing for this team again, what would you do? Sit out. Not show up. Not come to work. But he's been there on the sidelines. So it's like, oh, he's cool. Hey, he's there. Hugging Harbaugh. Hey, go tell Snoop you love him, Lamar. Okay, I will for sure. But what about behind the scenes? What's going on? And again, just put yourself in that position and think about what it would mean if you were doing that. Think about what kind of message you may possibly be trying to send to your employer, to the owner of your company, or really to whoever the one is that's cutting the checks. But again, all this is alleged. We don't know if it's true, but it's just the fact that it's so much alleged stuff but it's a, it's a lot of it. It's a whole lot of it. And then, so again, look at what people are putting out about Lamar. Reporters, media, analysts, and all that stuff. Just look at it. It's the game within the game. Pay attention, please.